Okay, we're in my shop today, and what we have here on the bench is a 100 amp hour battery. Technically, uh, it just uh, capacity tested at 96 amp hours, uh, but for all intents and purposes and for illustrative purposes today, we're going to call it a 100 amp hour battery. So, I want to talk about the known full reset, and people who know me have heard me uh, talk about the known full reset uh, ad nauseum and what that means, and I'm going to show you how simple this is. So, first parameter that we need to know is the battery at absorption voltage. For most batteries, we're looking at 14.4 volts plus. For gel batteries, you'd be looking at 14.1. Uh, so, is our voltage source tapping into the positive and negative terminals? We want to make sure we have an ap accurate representation of voltage and the best way to do that is to, to bring your voltage meter or your battery monitor directly to the battery terminals which which is done here uh, so 14.4 volts at the battery terminals check we're going to go over here to the current screen and what we can see is that we have 1.25 amps flowing into the battery bank which is 1.25 percent of this battery's capacity now when this battery is full it'll actually get down to about 0.2 amps of charge current uh, but for cruising, I call it cruiser full. Anything less than about 2% we can consider full. And the reason we want to do manual resets on our battery monitor as often as possible is because battery monitors or amp hour counters like the Victron or the Link or uh, you know many of the other amp hour counting battery monitors are very easily tricked into false resets by such things as solar and wind. So Known full, we have less than 2% of the battery's capacity of this 100 amp hour battery flowing into the bank. If you had a 400 amp hour bank, that would be 4 amps. So, check, 14.42, okay, less than 2%. Now, we're going to go in here, we're going to press the setup button, and we're going to hold it. And that's going to bring us into our setup screen. I scroll up, I use the positive button on the Victron, because the sync is near the end of the menu. Now the screen says sync. I'm going to press and hold the select button. It says OK. Now I go back and press and hold the setup button. Our battery monitor has just been reset to full. 100% the SOC screen reads. That is a safe assumption of your battery being full when you're out cruising. Again, 14.4 volts at the battery terminals or more uh, in a state of char or, or a, a current screen of less than 2% of the battery's capacity. Very, very simple to perform a known full reset. It will be much more accurate. Your monitor will remain accurate or more accurate uh, as long as the other parameters such as the Puget's constant, uh, the charge efficiency, the uh, average battery case temperature where your batteries are located. There are a lot of parameters that need to be programmed and once a year if you have the ability, you're going to want to capacity test your battery bank because they are rarely, if ever, at their rated capacity because they continue or they start to decline from the day that you buy them. So again, this is a 100 amp hour battery. It's, this is not that old and it's at 96 amp hours. So that is a known full reset. Uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, again, less than 2% of capacity and current flowing into the bank. Absorption voltage or better, not float voltage. Perform a manual reset. Very easy.